Hello everyone. Welcome back to one more very interesting, very exciting and mouth-watering chess tournament of Gurukul Chess Academy. So we have uh, conducted few thematic chess tournament and after that we have uh, we are conducting this normal chess tournament. So this chess tournament will start in just few seconds. Uh, I hope you enjoy all the games. So stay tuned with us. There are a lot of uh, exciting games going to come and we'll be taking you through all these games. We'll be analyzing all the games. So let's see. It. Uh, Om Gada is a top seeded player. His uh, current rating is 2310. And then player 2006 is Dakshil Kajrolkar. He's having 2134 uh, Liches rating. So here we go. Okay, so on the top board we have... Uh, cute dolphin. Uh, she is Adya Patil. She is playing against Omgada. Then we have Blade Strike. Blade Strike is Tanish. She is playing against Pradakshil. Then on the third board we have Ruchita Vagle playing against Inferno. Inferno is Yes Sane. Then on the next board we have uh, Arvikator. He is Ar uh, Arunav Savant. Arunav is playing against Arjun. Arjun is also a very talented strong player. Then we have Sakshi Sahasra Budde. She is playing against Shetiraj Fene. Then we have Advait Jog. Advait is playing against uh, Atharava Dikshit. So let's let's uh, go through the games. We are in the first round of this GCH second online chess tournament. So let's go through the games. So on the top board. Adya is playing against uh, top seed Om Gada. Om is right now pawn up. Queens are exchanged and uh, end game is going on. Adya recovered the pawn but uh, she is going to lose this pawn on b6. So maybe something like bishop g7. Okay. And this can be a little bit risky uh, because this bishop is not on this g7 square which is the normal square or uh, for that bishop. So here black, white can play something like bishop f6 and then knight f6 will be a checkmate. It's not a checkmate, sorry. Uh, of course, king can run to uh, uh, h8. Uh, but this position looks very risky because then knight g5 will come and then knight into f7 is mid. Considering after bishop h6, the rook has moved. That way, this pawn on f7 is not guarded. So there has to be a bit careful over here. Let's move back in the lobby. Let's check other games. Let's see this game. So, this game is between Kanaya Moria against Anwe uh, Shinde. Right now, Anwe is two pawns up. And Kanaya's uh, king looks uh, totally exposed. Though there is just one piece around, uh, one opponent's piece around uh, White's king. But still, once uh, black gets his pieces around white's king, then it will be a whole uh, different story. Kanaya is uh, trying his best to recover the lost pawn. I guess he is losing this, this pawn as well. So knight into knight, uh, either queen into or rook into knight and then simply uh, rook into h3. So let's move back. Yeah, so this game is between Yatiraj Fene and Sakshi Sesra Gudde. Yatiraj is also a very strong rated player. So he's playing our tournaments after a long break. So let's see. Whether he is uh, playing with his natural uh, skills or natural style or maybe he is a bit rusty. Right now he has two extra pawns. Uh, he should win this game because once you give extra material to a strong player, to a rated player, uh, normally he wouldn't uh, miss the end games. Then we have Daivik Jain playing against Blazing Bullet. Blazing Bullet is Rajas Vagle. Rajas Vagle is also a international rated player. So right now it looks like uh, Rajas is totally winning. So 
surprisingly uh, all the pieces are on the opposite side so here normally white pieces should be on this side and black pieces are on this side but as you can see almost all the black pieces uh, have crossed over and they are on the white white side even the white uh, black king is resting on the square where white king used to be so this game should over in a hurry let's move back what do we have okay uh, we have ruchita wagle she is raja's sister she is also a very talented player she is playing against yash sane yash is uh, uh, also a rated player uh, right now ruchita is playing well yash has just one extra pawn of course uh, one pawn should be enough for a strong player like yash but you never know right now black pieces are not very active i mean this bishop is not doing much uh, both the rooks are standing on the closed file though white king is exposed through this line but no black piece can come on that uh, diagonal also on the other hand even white uh, black king is also exposed from this line uh, g file even is exposed through this long diagonal so here black has to be very careful he is uh, keeping his pieces uh, hanging so i mean uh, this knight is hanging when the knight uh, moves this rook will fall knight g5 check of course can't capture with the pawn can't capture with the queen and the rook is lost should capture the rook and if black captures the bishop then this knight should come back maybe here and if he captures the knight after say bishop into rook if he captures the knight then again bishop should come back to g2 g2 is the best square supported with the king and also covering the king yes he is taking his time as it's a first round it's always better to use more time in the initial rounds that way uh, you will be warmed up you will be charged up for the remaining rounds okay we have uh, rushil playing against sai sai sane is yes sane's sister so we have two siblings over here okay uh, rushil is four points up she is piece up and is pawn up let's see what sai can do rishil is of course a strong player let's move back let's check this game blade, blade strike stanish he is playing against dakshil dakshil is having three extra pawns and white king is stuck on the other side of the board and of course now this pawn will just keep moving ahead and tanish uh, dakshil will uh, promote his queen very easily okay let's move back and i guess tanish i don't know whether he will continue or he will resign yeah there was no point in continuing this game okay let's move back three more games remaining yeah as usual yati is rook up and pawn up and either he will uh, promote uh, a queen or he will try to checkmate the king with the rook he can checkmate the king with the rook oh he lost a piece ouch which is the lost a piece okay 
Okay. Now she has to uh, use her rooks well. First round games are normally uh, easy games. Top players are playing against uh, unrated players or uh, low rated players. Okay. Let's check this game between. Sai and Rishil. Rishil has extra rook. Bishop is under attack. White should, uh, black should move the bishop, or else this bishop will get pinned, and then this pinned piece will get attacked later on. So it's always better to move the bishop away. I guess the only square, square uh, is a6. Say so is not playing, so there can be some uh, connection. Okay, great. Still, this bishop can be pinned because the rook on d8 is hanging. So here, white should play uh, something like r a d1 or maybe r f d1. There's two games going on of the first round. Uh, Ruchita is trying her best. But uh, yes, she is having material advantage. Same thing we can say about Rushil's game. Rushil is having extra material. Okay, here the threat is rookie 7. Rook e7 and then rook into pawn. If black plays rook into rook, then either queen into rook or queen into this rook on d8. So in this whole combination, white is getting this free pawn. When you are having extra material, oh, that's that's a mistake. Uh, because yes, she is low on time. So Ruchida should have kept the queens on the board. Because as long as queens are there, there is always a chance to win back material with uh, uh, by the means of double attack and all. So Ruchita should have kept her queen on the board. Now it's an easy win. He will just keep capturing all the pieces. He will put his uh, rook on the 7th rank. Before he does that, he need to move the uh, s3. Or else, after he moves the king up, rook up, sorry, rook d1 check and bishop uh, bishop is lost yeah so that is why it's a good move by playing uh, king to f uh, bishop f3 check if rook b8 then rook b1 this pawn is pinned pawn cannot move ahead yeah still rook b1 pawn is still pinned but then after rook b1, white can uh, black can play rook b8. Yeah. Of course, attack the pin piece one more time if it is supported. And yes, yeah, she's doing the same thing. Now simply you should exchange the queens. Uh, rook, sorry, queens are already exchanged. Rook behind the passer is required, but maybe we'll just keep on pay, uh, pushing the rook uh, pawn in front. There was no need to do that. Instead, he could have captured this pawn simply. Rook behind the passer. Pawn push and then secure the pawn with bishop g2. 
bishop b7 sorry And now we can give check and then push the pawn ahead. Simple pawn push will do. Rook cannot capture the bishop, otherwise the pawn promotes. Second check and the king goes to s3 and now there are no more checks. And this is a nice move so that the king cannot run away and white can perform a quick checkmate by playing this but that is why Ruchita played this so that king can escape but uh, even if the queen uh, king goes over here king cannot escape through this line and this should be it yeah let's move into the lobby so the second round will start in just few seconds We are in the second round of this GCH second online chess tournament. So let's go through the games. Right now, two players are on two on two. Uh, let's. Uh, there are four players, not two. And still nine games are going on. So let's go through the games. So we have Sarah Jacob. Uh, she is playing against Yatiraj. And considering Yatiraj's strength, she is playing well. And as you can see, she has created a lot of tension around Black's king. So though black has extra material, uh, still black will have to defend well to avoid all these uh, uh, tactics. Black can, white can even play something like rook b1 and rook b5 and then you can thinking about sacrifice over here. But Yatira should hold this position, he is an experienced player. Let's go back in the lobby. Uh, we have Blazing Bullet playing against Vedant. Blazing Bullet is Rajas and Vedant uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 is Vedant Shah. Simply Rook Queen E1 and then sacrifice the Queen for the Pawn and then promote a new Queen. So this shouldn't be uh, difficult for uh, Rajas. Then we have Nihal playing against Siddhant Verlekar. Okay, Siddhant has four extra points, so he's you can we can say he's a double piece up. I don't know what Nihal played actually, because Nihal is a good player to be a two pieces down. And it looks like this bishop is also in lot of trouble because after a bishop, knight into bishop or rook into bishop. Uh, white won't be able to recapture otherwise he will uh, lose his queen so it looks like Nihal is on the way to lose his third piece Siddharth is much stronger player at least that's what rating uh, ratings are showing us so here Yadnesh Jadav Sorry, blade strike. Saisan is playing against a uh, blade strike. Blade strike is uh, Tanish. Tanish is eight points ahead. Again, Tanish should win. Sai supposed. Sai is supposed to play uh, more carefully. It looks like she is playing carelessly. Though she is using her time well, she is not playing uh, too quickly. I wonder why she is losing so much material very soon.
so this game is between aryan ukidwe and kanaya moria uh, kanaya moria has six extra points he is rook up and most probably this queen uh, queens will get exchanged and there shouldn't be any problem for uh, kanaya to win with his extra rook yeah he's uh, he's doing the correct thing aryan by not exchanging the queens so when you are uh, having extra material you should exchange the pieces but when you are uh, down in material when you have less material you should keep the pieces on the board so these remaining pieces will help you recover your lost material at least you can try of course your opponent won't uh, let you re recover all the material that easily ouch check and the rook is lost oh it's a mate oh yeah i totally missed that mate okay four games remaining we have seven players tied uh, jointly on the first uh, place with two out of two points this game must be very interesting oh just fene and om gada and they have played against each other a lot of time and ojas has a healthy lead ojas has won uh, sorry om has a healthy lead om has won 23 games where ojas has managed only 8 games so that way you can say om is ahead uh, when it's uh, one on one let's move back yeah oh just offered a draw and ohm declined the draw okay let's see what is happening here uh, adish donde is playing against yash again yash is piece up do yash is oh, adish is piece up oh, i'm sorry uh, either yash have, must have uh, blundered something or he must have uh, sacrificed a piece because as you can see white's king is stuck in the middle of the board uh, his development is not complete there is no coordination between his pieces so that way it looks like uh, uh, black must have sacrificed a piece yeah, of course queen b4 is forced or else queen into yeah Knight into uh, bishop and the uh, rook falls. Knight into this is forced. Knight into bishop. Knight into bishop, and if he plays queen into queen first, which is a mistake, then uh, black can continue knight into f3 check. That way he will pick up one extra piece. So here white should play queen into d2. That's the safest move right now. and maybe queen a3 yeah so white will keep pressure on this diagonal long diagonal then rooks will join through these open lines even d file can be opened we are in the third round of this uh, tournament so let's go through the game straight away so we are on the top board we have atharva playing against omgada then we have Siddhant playing against Dakshil. Then we have Blazing Bullet that is Rajas. Uh, Rajas is playing against Yash. Then Mir Naresh playing against Arjun. Then we have Witness Shadow. She is Aditi. Aditi is playing against Ishan Nithin. Uh, then we have Anway. Anway is playing against uh, Sriram. So let's go through the games. Let's check this game between Sriram and Anway. Okay. Uh, Okay, Shiram is having a piece up. Okay. It's a check and he is about to lose one more piece. Even if he plays this, then... Yeah, in that way he will lose this rook. Uh, bishop, sorry. 
even if you place this uh, rook f7 then there would be rook into rook king into rook and this bishop would fall so there was no way uh, anway could have saved that uh, second bishop so let's go back let's see what's happening in this game uh, ishan nithin uh, he is playing against aditi ishan is white right now the uh, position is uh, quite equal both the players have castled on the opposite side uh, white pieces uh, look uh, more uh, active or, or more uh, uh, settled than the black pieces black hasn't uh, finished her development so this bishop is stuck the rooks are not uh, looking very bright uh, even white rooks are not looking uh, very bright they are uh, standing on the close files but at least uh, all the minor pieces are uh, developed for white so here uh, black should continue with this and there should be re1 coming up so white uh, black has to be ready for that re1 so that he will have to move the queen away now because of this two bishops sitting like this there are very uh, less squares available for the black pieces in the middle of the board so let's see Uh, either, either he can play uh, queen d2 directly. Oh. So now bishop g7 is forced. Oh, sorry, bishop g7 can't be played uh, because the problem is knight into pawn. It looks like uh, white should capture the bishop. Sorry, black should capture the bishop, but then pawn into uh, and then he will have to move the knight away. And still black is losing the pawn. So it looks uh, difficult for Aditi to save her d5 pawn. Okay. And uh, now this can be a mistake because after knight into pawn, white uh, black won't be able to capture this because he will lose the rook. Not only the rook, he may lose the h6 pawn later on as well. Okay, let's move to the lobby and check other games. So let's check this game. Uh, Mihir Naresh playing against Arjun Vasudev. Arjun is just six years old, six or seven years old, but he is a very talented player. Mihir is also Mihir is also very strong player. Arjun is right now pawn up. Okay, but Mihir has his pawn uh, on a seven. So you should play something like uh, rook c7 and then finally rook b7. He can't capture because of this pawn promotion. So after rook c7 and b7 he will have to keep his rook on the fourth rank the, that is a4. And then white can play something like uh, moving the king away king to b7 and then push the pawn. Meanwhile, white what uh, black can try black can uh, start uh, pushing the pawn. Okay, first thing first, kill the pawn, and then he can uh, um, uh, move his king to uh, rook to c7. Okay. This game is also interesting. Uh, Tanish is playing against Kanaya Moria. And right now he has 5 extra pawns. Oh man, that's a lot of material. Yeah, and uh, Kanaya resigned because it's almost impossible to stop all these pawns. Okay, here we have. Uh, Yadnesh playing against Sara. 
it looks like Yadnesh is going to win. Okay. Let's check this game between two best friends, Rajas and Yesh. Right now, Yesh has two extra pawns, one extra pawn. But uh, Black's position is pretty difficult. His king is uh, all alone in uh, in the middle of the board. There are pieces around, but still. should play something like this oh but then this check will come on the on the eighth rank first rank oh great this is a great move by yesh now he's threatening queen h4 mate so he has to play something like this queen g5 Stopping that mate on h4. That looks like that looks like the only move, right? Of course, he can push the pawn and block the check. Uh, bishop e7 is also working, but uh, bishop is hanging. So here now, one more threat is to play rook uh, queen c1. Queen c1 and then queen h6 check and if king goes to uh, g4 then bishop h3 check and then the skewer it's a mate there is no not a skewer it's a mate so queen c1 is a nice idea here for white let's see if white uh, finds this way or there is some other uh, tactics coming up Yeah, but queen c1 can be answered uh, by with uh, bishop g5, right? So maybe that is why he is not uh, very keen on uh, playing that. Okay. Now the, again the threat is pawn push and the queen is lost. So again he may have to play queen g5 to stop this double attack. Uh, it's an opposite color bishop middle game going on. So here if uh, Rajas wants to save the game, then he should exchange the heavy pieces like queens and rook. And then in the, in the end game, he can hope for a draw uh, because of opposite color bishops. Let's move in the lobby and check other games. Okay, Rushil is uh, going to win. Then, do we have anything interesting? Okay. Uh, Mayor should win this game, right? Why? I don't know why he's thinking. Simply, he should play this. And then, pawn promotes. Defeating a strong player like Arjun is a big thing. So Mir should... I don't know what he's calculating. Is there any threat coming up? Even if uh, Black starts giving all these checks, then King can uh, march ahead like this and attack the Rook. And after a few moves, one fine day, all the checks will be gone. In that way, Black will have to sacrifice his Rook for uh, uh, the Queen. Yeah, of course. Now just go ahead in this fashion. This is also fine. 
do not come on the fourth rank do not come on the fourth rank okay it will it will do uh, because he can't capture the pawn with this check otherwise this thing will uh, promote forced pawn promotion and kill okay we should win this game without any hassle let's check this game on the top board between siddhant and uh, dakshil dakshil is three pawns up dakshil is a dakshil is in good touch just now dakshil came back for a, a team chess tournament and he won all the games over there and won uh, the best first prize for the fourth board so he is in good touch but the previous record uh, is uh, with uh, siddhant siddhant has won a game against dakshil so dakshil would like to uh, return the favor okay om gada won against atharva so right now we have om okay om yash and vedant uh, sharing the lead with three out of three points then there are two players mihir and arjun did drew the game oh mihir missed a chance that okay mihir missed a chance to win he should have won that game okay so let's check this game between aditi and ishan okay aditi has lots of material great she has 11 extra points she has extra queen so that means ishan must have blundered something as she missed a chance she should have given the check with the rook rook check the rook king is forced to go up and then rook falls again she can do the same thing give check okay this will also do when you have uh, so much material whatever you do is fine again now the threat is rook e2 go oh, it's a mate rook e1 is mate yeah well played aditi so let's move on to the last game of the third round siddhant is trying uh, his best to recover the lost material but as you can see there is no weakness in uh, black's position i mean in, in black's pawn structure both the pawn structure are, uh, are very healthy you can try playing rook c2 also uh, black has to be bit careful about his pawn push or else this checkmate won't be stoppable h2 yeah so that again the pawn structure remains solid rook s3 looks a nice move but the problem is rook c1 check and the queen falls so maybe white should play rook uh, queen b2 first queen b2 attack this pawn yeah of course and now he can try this even rook s3 is not clearly winning because uh, black can easily stop this uh, attack by blocking the diagonal with e5 or maybe uh, e6 okay so white has uh, black has other pl plan in mind so if white plays rook h3 he is going to exchange the queens with queen c1 check yeah will played Mm 
maybe this uh, okay this will do rook h3 oh great uh, that's a great way to exchange the queens that's a great way to kick the white queen away from this strong diagonal and now queen f6 and king g7 queen f6 king g7 and everything is fine uh, yeah looks like that looks that way queen e5 queen e5 again the threat is this will again play queen b3 oh well done because i was thinking after queen b3 the threat is uh, queen c7 check king at 2 and then queen comes here and then simply move the king away even queen e5 will do yeah okay So intense game going on okay uh, what is it threatening oh that's bad what will it be exchanged for by forced okay. and this looks difficult one push of course one push Then pawn push, pawn push. These are connected passes. Hang. It is not a good move to play. Because then that way the rook is uh, closed. And here white can create a mating net around the king. See. Now you will pick up both the rook. Both the pawns one by one. You should have played this. Uh, white allowed black the black skin to escape. Oh, that's strange. Now, if he attacks, then there is rook b3. Yeah, of course. So rook b3, rook b2, b2, b a2. Sorry. Yeah, push the pawn ahead. So whenever rook is giving check, you need to. Come on this side, and now it's impossible for white to stop the uh, pawn promotion. Again, the same thing he will do. You keep moving the rook, uh, king towards the rook, and in few moves, the all the checks will be exhausted. If rook behind the passer, then he can push the pawn ahead. P three. And then finally rook uh, b1 and then 
a1 twins and in this all tiny tiny moves uh, and with that 5 seconds increment uh, Dakshil has a lot of time left uh, on the clock so it should be an easy win for Dakshil now this rook should move some up upwards to stop this pawn of course this pawn cannot be stopped pawn push rook uh, a1 rook a1 wins he should not capture the rook because then okay oh yeah that's a very nice way to win the rook great well well done dakshil he has calculated well now you will pick up the pawns one by one and it's an easy win for uh, dakshil yeah the pass pawn is stopped I will get the king, capture the pawn and it's a win. So after losing the pawn, maybe the Siddhant will resign or maybe not. <laughs> maybe he will keep playing. So Siddhant is trying in his luck. So the checkmate pattern is set. Get the king on the third row to create complete the pattern and it's a mate. Great game, Dakshil. Well played. It's a good, uh, nice rook and pawn in game. So we are halfway through, and after three rounds, uh, we have four players uh, jointly uh, on the first place with three out of three points. We are in the second half of this uh, tournament. Fourth round is going on. So let's go through the games. Dakshil has already won his fourth round and he is uh, leading with four points out of four. So Vedant is playing against Om Gada, Vedant Bharadwaj and Om Gada. Then we have Witness Shadow. She is Aditi Adav. She is playing against Mihir Naresh. Aditi is playing brilliantly in this uh, tournament. So far so good for her. Then we have Yatiraj Fene playing against uh, Arjun Singh. Then we have Blade Strike, Tanish playing against Siddhant Verlegar. Then Nihal Baldava playing against Rushil Darji. And then we have Shriram Kullali playing against Rajas Vagle. So, th 13 more games are going on. So, let's go through the games. Let's start with the Vedanta against Om. Uh, Om has 2-0 uh, score over Vedant. And here again, he is also a pawn up. It looks like he has sacrificed a knight. Oh, that's the famous uh, Sicilian dragon trap. Rook into d4, of course. Rook into d4 will do. So he's just thinking about whether to capture with the rook or should uh, continue with this. I guess rook into d4 is better. Rook into d4. Um, because the threat is later on. Bishop into knight and then queen into c2. So, must be calculating that only. Yeah, queen e3 is the logical move. Rook into rook, rook into rook. And maybe he can continue with... Uh, Bishop into e4 followed by queen into c2. Bishop into pawn, queen into uh, e7. Oh, sorry, queen into e7 is not possible because the rook is hanging. Okay. Yeah, but bishop into pawn is definitely possible. He will start picking up these pawns one by one. And that way he will have pawn majority on the uh, queen side. Uh, but here he has to be a bit careful. 
uh, because after rook into pawn or something like that, uh, his back rank can be weak. So this bishop should remain on this diagonal all the time. Bishop into pawn is a blunder because of this rook check. Of course, one is not going to uh, fall for that trap. So let's go back in the lobby, check other games. Let's check this game between uh, Witness Shadow, that is Aditi Yadav. She is playing against Mihir. And surprisingly, Mihir, <laughs> Mihir has offered a uh, draw twice. Aditi has declined the draw. Maybe he is worried about this pin or is his pawn up, right? Rook into. This is a backward pawn, so it's always better to uh, uh, keep a piece in front of a backward pawn. So the game may go, go like this. Rook into knight. Oh, queen into is also fine. Putting pressure over here. C6 is forced. And after c6, he can continue with c5, c4, I'm sorry, breaking this pawn chain. So that way, white, uh, black may think about playing g5, putting this pressure of this diagonal so that this knight can defend the center pawn well. It's strange uh, say, seeing a player offering a draw even after uh, having one extra pawn and if you compare the rating uh, between these two guys so there is almost uh, the difference of 600 uh, when you have the rating difference of 600 then it's quite strange when you offer a draw to a low rated player okay, let's move ahead Okay, Siddhant has won his game uh, against uh, Tanish. Then Garvil has won his fourth round against Atharva Dikshit. Oh, that's a strange result. Well played Garvil. Then Ojas Fene has won against Yadnesh. And Adish has won against uh, Queen Aishu. Queen Aishu is Vansika. Okay. Let's check what we have. Okay, we have Amok playing against uh, Advait Zog. Uh, right now, Advait is having lot of material advantage. And he's getting this pawn as well. So, Advait should win this game without any uh, problem. Forced. Oh, simple. Oh, Advait, when I miss that thing, oh, shame. Advait simply missed a piece. Still, even after uh, recovering that uh, knight, uh, Advait has nine extra points. Rook and minor with the pawn. I don't know what's happening. Why is he giving up the pieces like this? Because in this last two moves, and uh, Advait has given two extra pieces. Okay, let's move ahead in the lobby. Let's check this game between Anway and Cute Dolphin. Cute Dolphin is Adya Patil, and she's playing against Anway Shinde. Uh, material is equal, so Adya has a rook and a pawn for uh, Anway's two minors. Uh, she has to be very careful about all the knight forks. So she cannot play rook c1. Rook c1 looks logical, attacking the knight, keeping the rook on the open file. But then there is this nasty uh, fork coming up. So she may have to play something like uh, rook e1 and then uh, rook here. Okay, this, this will also do. Now knight c1, uh, rook c1 looks nice. Pawn push. Okay, 
actually let's move back Nihal also won his game he won against Rushil Yatiraj and Arjun let's check this game between Yatiraj and Arjun Oh, Yatiraj is having uh, three extra points, so he's exchange up and pawn up. Uh, so Yatiraj should win this game. It's a tough event going on for Arjun. He was losing against Mihir, and surprisingly, Mihir gave him a draw. And here he is exchange down. And a pawn down. Now he must give this check and exchange the rooks. Okay, he's giving up a pawn. Again, Yatira should win this game. Which game got ended? Okay, Omgada. Omgada won against Vedant. So let's check this game between Sriram and uh, Rajas. Sriram has extra piece, but Rajas has two uh, pawns for that uh, piece. This game should <coughs> end in a draw if black plays correctly. If both the players play correctly. Maybe uh, white can sacrifice uh, the material back for two pawns. So if white plays uh, g5, uh, f5 over here, simply sacrifice and then sacrifice the knight for the pawn, and the game ends in a draw. Maybe that is why Rajas is not uh, very keen on pushing the pawn ahead. This bishop is placed very well because of the bishop knight cannot move anywhere all the knight's activity is stopped so he is trying to uh, force white into a zugzwang but uh, black into a zugzwang but black will keep moving his bishop on this diagonal so sooner or later white will have to push the pawn ahead he cannot move the king from this uh, square because we have learned in the rule of square that king white king must not leave this square otherwise this pawn will queen now he must capture otherwise this will be yeah of course king into pawn and the game should end in a draw Let's move back in the lobby. Okay, witness Shadow and Mihir. They are still playing. Uh, Mihir is piece up, but he is low on time. And he has his rook uh, settled on the 7th rank. But his king is not so safe. Uh, that looks like a blunder because after this rook e5, I think that was a, the queen was trapped, so he missed the chance. After queen e5, rook queen was getting trapped. Now here he should exchange. We should exchange the pawn. We missed a chance in a time trouble, we can say. Only two uh, games are going on. So, right now, Om and Dakshil they are sharing the lead with four out of four points. And most probably they will be playing against each other in the fifth round. So 
So Yathiraj is trying his best in Arjun. Yeah, of course, it's an easy win. One push will do, even the king uh, uh, A2 will do. In that way, this pawn promotion is unstoppable for white. So Arjun may resign. There was no need to play king b2 though. So let's focus on this game. Mm, finally the queen got trapped. Hide laga diti. She can double the rooks on the e file. Okay. Should play f3. Because this pawn is pinned. Oh, sorry, this was forced. Otherwise, uh, queen b5 check and the rook was gone. Forced. King goes inside and queen c1 is made. Well played uh, Mihir, hard like Aditi. Aditi played really well. So in few seconds, fifth round is coming up. We are in the fifth round. Let's check the games. Okay, Mihir has won his game against Vedant. And now Mihir is leading uh, the tally with four and a half points. Of course, few more top games are going on. So on the top board, uh, the leaders after four round, uh, fourth round, Mom and uh, uh, Dakshil, they are playing with each other. Then we have Nihal and Yatiraj. Then we have Ojas playing against Yash. Garvil playing against Rajas. It looks like uh, Garvil blund uh, blundered something. Because he, he was having a full bishop and two pawns and a queen against two rooks. But he now he, he has just uh, one queen left. Ouch. And yeah, he lost. Uh, Rajas lost his rook and now Garvil should win easily. Whoosh, Garvil should be feeling very relaxed after getting that rook. Okay. Let's check the games one by one. Okay. Oh, the shield is having two extra pawns. Um, recovered one pawn. Uh, Dakshil and Om they have played a lot of time against each other and the score is 33 and a half in favor of Om where uh, Dakshil has scored 14 and a half. Mm, Dakshil's position looks bit uh, cramped. His pieces are not getting developed. His pieces are developed pieces, developed pieces are getting pinned and all. So even after having that extra pawn, Dakshil has to solve a lot of problems. Let's move back in the lobby. Let's check this game between Nihal and Yatiraj. 
Yetiraj is P sub. I think apart from that one uh, game where Yetiraj lost early, uh, he has played flawlessly. Uh, even his uh, time management is good. He's not uh, getting stuck in the time trouble. And here he should win uh, pretty quickly because as you can see, H and G files are already opened by Yathiraj. This diagonal is also very important, very uh, uh, interesting. And soon there will be checkmate. There should che uh, be a checkmate happening on this uh, G and H file. can try queen d5 doesn't look good right simple bishop uh, if i uh, bishop d6 will do maybe you can try something like queen h4 queen h4 should, uh, looks good right now you can after queen h4 you can think about sacrificing uh, the rook even rook g2 looks nice so that way he's threatening a mate in one move a queen g2 should be correct move because to stop this checkmate if he plays rook e7 then it's a mistake because queen g2 rook e7 and then uh, rook h8 check stop this check he must play bishop into rook and then there follows queen g8 mate so i guess he should stop this checkmate by playing queen c7 and not by playing rook e7 i hope Nihal will find it out it's not a very deep calculation just few moves Okay, this this also looks fine, but now there's a problem of uh, knight d5. Knight d5 is uh, strong. Even bishop g5 was interesting. Now this fork is coming up on c7. Yeah, now this is dead lost. Because he must play something like this. And then discovered check will come, discovered attack will come. Let's go back in the lobby. Six more games remaining. The winner between Dakshil and Om. He will uh, lead after the fifth round with five out of five, the perfect score. Let's check this game between Rushil and Aryan. Rushil is piece up. And so, but Aryan got two connected passers. Right now, those two connected passers are stopped by this bishop. Uh, so white should win this game, but white has to be a bit careful about these two connected passes. If those uh, connected passes start uh, rolling ahead, then it will be difficult. Also, there is no entry for black's rook in white's area. Considering all this, Rushil should win this game. Okay, Ojas and Yesh. Ojas has a better score uh, in head to head uh, duel. Ojas has won 6 games where Yash has won only 3. So here again Ojas is having one extra rook. 
it looks like yes must have blundered something Again, with that extra rook, uh, Ojas should win. Ojas should not uh, let that advantage slip away. Let's see what's happening over here in Anway and Atharva. Atharva is pawn up. Anway is playing good. Atharva is a strong player. If Anway uh, gave just one pawn to Atharva, that means uh, Anway is playing good. But uh, now the problem is that extra pawn is on the is the outside passer, so it will be a tough uh, task for White to stop that passed pawn. Now to stop that passer, he should have pushed the pawn ahead. Yeah, but maybe he was worried about uh, knight b3. Okay. The threat is check. King goes here and King c3. So here black can use this uh, pawn to divert white's king. Yep. Forced and the pawn goes on. Athra will surely convert this. Uh, material advantage and positional advantage into a win yeah let's focus on this uh, top board game between Om and uh, Dakshil Om has recovered his lost pawns and even on the other hand Dakshil has uh, managed to uh, uh, complete his uh, development Ohm's rook is stuck on h1. Ohm has to do something about that rook. And Ohm's, rook, Ohm's pieces look uh, pretty odd on this uh, d file, right? I don't know why is he playing this. Because bishop c3 is killing, right? Is there a Discord data coming up? No. Uh, it looks like he has blundered a piece. Bishop c3 and this bishop is gone. There is no check and nothing coming up. Okay. Okay. Not so fast. After this bishop uh, to c3, you will play rook into knight. Yeah, so that way uh, white is not getting anything extra. I mean, he is getting extra, right? No, he is getting two rook, uh, two minors for a piece. So for example, uh, bishop c3, rook into d6, rook into d6, and then bishop into c3. So he gets two minus for uh, that extra rook. Now the problem for white is that his one rook is stuck uh, on this square. So that way he won't go for this uh, exchange. So he needs his two minor pieces to create something. Forced again. He has to save the pawn.
maybe is thinking about uh, capturing this he cannot get the king out but that quickly because this uh, bishop e5 check is annoying this game will go on is that the only game left no okay arthur has captured lots of uh, pawns and now he should win by promoting his pawns on the other hand let's see what happened over here okay uh, still the same position but here now white uh, black manages to move his rook around white's position and now he is attacking uh, the white pieces if the bishop moves away then this pawn will push now there follows this and maybe he will capture this pawn and try to promote this pawn but again the, there is a, a possibility for white to give up the material back by sacrificing the bishop for that uh, queening pawn but it's the last uh, option for white white won't give the material that easily so simply capture so rook d2 capture rook into b2 capture oh. that's okay so the idea is king into pawn and then pawn push Oh, well played. That looks interesting. So, I guess uh, Rushil has overlooked this pawn push. And the material is equal. Simple pawn push. Black should win this game. Even black, white is having his passed pawn, but it looks difficult to stop this passed pawn here. King is far away. On the other hand, black's king is uh, blocking this passed pawn, so it will take white uh, white more efforts, more moves to push this uh, pawn till the last line. Yeah, of course, well played, Aryan. After rook into rook. Pawn promotes, and if you play something like this, rook h1, he goes back. Ah, he should have moved his king over here. Because now, yeah, now this he made a terrible mistake. This and the checkmate is unstoppable. Ah, yeah, he, he made a mistake now. Because this check is possible now. That is why... I, okay, the rook was under attack, right? Oh, I am so sorry. I totally missed that thing. And black is winning. King moves away. Rook falls. If king goes over here, then the skewer on s3 and again the rook falls. And on the other hand, black is about to queen his uh, pawn. Yum yum. If he promotes, then it's a blunder because the rook h8 is a mate. I don't know what is he thinking. He's totally missed this thing. Oh, and that's a blunder Rushil needed. Now pawn promotion is not required because of this mate. Oh, hard luck, Aryan. That was a horrible blunder. And the leaders are still fighting it out. Dakshil got the extra pawn and it's a same color bishop. It's not opposite color bishop, so that way uh, black has a huge advantage. Hmm? This looks strange. What if he pushes the pawn ahead? 
this this was a, this was an easy win right oh yes yes i'm so sorry pawn push ahead and there there was this pinning the bishop and then pawn would promote safely Home will get back this pawn, no doubt. It's an exciting game going on. Now king goes here and it's done. Yeah, it's a draw. It's a draw. It's a draw because it's a rook file pawn. Ah, he missed. Should have played this. This was a draw. This was a draw. He should have covered this diagonal. And the game ends in a draw. Well done, Dakshil. <laughs> well done, Om. Not Dakshil. I'm so sorry. Well done, uh, Om. Well, that's an exciting game. Okay. If White promotes the Queen, it's a draw. Or else, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's fun, man. Of course, black cannot capture the pawn because it's a stalemate. That way, white will just keep moving the king here and there. He has to go back to stop this uh, pawn from queening. Yeah, and the game ends in a draw. Okay, it was a nice game. So there are three players uh, tied for the first place of, uh, with four and a half point and the fifth round is uh, last round is getting started in just few seconds. And we are into the last round of this second chess tournament organized by Gurukul Chess Academy. So Dakshil and Om they have won their last rounds. Dakshil has uh, won against Mihir Naresh, whereas Om uh, defeated Siddhant Verlekar. So they are tied for the first place with five and a half points. So all depends on the tie breaks now. Let's go through the remaining games. Uh, Garvil is playing against Ojas. And okay, Ojas is going to win. Ojas has a queen and two pawns. So it's mate in one for Ojas coming up. Then we have Shriram playing against Yatiraj. Then Arjun Singh, he is playing against Yash. Yadnesh playing against Adish. Sarah playing against Atharva. And Ishan playing against Sakshi. So let's start uh, checking this game between uh, Sakshi and Ishan. Sakshi is playing white pieces. And she has one extra piece. Or so we can say she has three extra points. She got two pieces for Black's three pawns. So she should win this game easily. Every exchange is beneficial for White. Let's go back in the lobby. Let's see what's happening between Sara and Atharva. Atharva is white, Sara is black. And okay, Atharva is having four extra points. He's piece up. Again, Atharva should win this game. 
a lot of threats coming up first of all this knight c6 fork is coming if he saves this by playing something like this uh, saves the knight fork by playing queen d6 then knight g5 is uh, there knight g5 threatening queen into h7 mate so Sarah has to do a lot of defending and at the same time she has to recover her lost material. In Yadnish and Adish, Yad Adish is white, Yadnish is black. Uh, okay, so it looks like uh, Adish uh, has uh, exchange against a knight and a pawn. Uh, in this position, uh, black's minor pieces look much better than white's uh, extra rook. So I guess Yednesh had some uh, advantage here. Because as you can see, the bishop is sitting pretty uh, good on this square. Mm, this bishop is not so strong. He should have played uh, this. This was a nice move. Instead of bishop g b7. Okay, I couldn't play that because this be a knight would hang, right? Yeah. A simple tactics, knight b4 and pick up the pawn for free. So, even after having extra material, uh, we can say exchange up, black, uh, white has to play very carefully. Let's go back. Okay, Ojas has also won. So, Ojas has moved to the third place. If Itiraj wins his game, then maybe he should uh, become. Uh, he should come third. Mm, okay, Shriram is about. Shriram should. Uh, uh, sorry, Itiraj should win this game. He has one extra rook, and plus he has that uh, passer on uh, the center file. He should win without any trouble. What was that? Uh, there was no need to do that. Yeah, okay. But, but when you have extra pieces, it's always better to exchange pieces, right? Okay. Here between Aryan and Daivik. Daivik is piece up. I mean, he Daivik has a knight for two uh, pawns. So knight and right now in the middle game, knight is better. But in the end game, uh, you never know. Two pawns uh, can be uh, too much uh, for one knight. So white has to try and get as many uh, compensation for that lost knight. And on the other hand, uh, black should try and utilize his extra piece. Let's go back. And Yeti has also won. So Yeti has moved to the third place. Let's check this game between Arjun Singh and Yash. Uh, Arjun Singh has one extra pawn. Uh, but Yash has that strong knight sitting on d4 square. And also, yes, uh, has uh, Arjun's bishop on c4 looks pretty bad. The only advantage, or maybe we can say the second advantage uh, for Arjun is, first advantage uh, is that he has ex an extra pawn. Second advantage is that Arjun is having this outside passer on a5. So, I guess he should have played this. This and then use this file. But maybe he was worried about this check, right? Okay. Double the rook, of course. 
rook into rook queen into rook and there are lot of threads coming up on the seventh rank Arjun's position is becoming more and more difficult. The white cannot move the queen away because this nasty fork is coming up on f3. So that must be back of the mind. Go up, and it's a no check position. And then after king f6, he should go back uh, because king f6, rook into h7 looks risky because of this check. Okay, he prefers uh, <laughs> saving the uh, pawn. He should have played this because even after rook into h uh, h7. Rook e8 is very strong. Okay, let's go back. That outside passer is proving to be a game changer. Okay, we have Vyan Desai is playing against Gul Nawaz. Okay, Gul Nawaz is back. So she, I think she missed a round in between. And Gul Nawaz is having three extra pawns. So. She should win this game. White has this uh, solitary pawn over here, but it, this pawn has reached the seventh rank. So Gulama should keep an eye on this thing. Again, she should have played this, but maybe she is too worried about this fork, right? Yeah, keep pushing the pawns ahead. Gulnava should win this game. Let's go back. Yeah, cute, cute dolphin, dolphin and Kanaya Moria. Okay, finally, cute dolphin got a piece. Oops, but uh, it's it looks very risky for her right now uh, because of these uh, two connected passers, two connected, <coughs> two connected outside passers. So white should create some zugzwang where this king can move up. Here white should play something like this. So that this bishop can be used on both the sides to attack. Or on the on this side of the board, it's three minus two, three against two. So White should try and create an outside passer on this side. The force pawn push, pawn into pawn, pawn into pawn, sorry, pawn push, pawn into pawn, pawn into pawn, and then this, and this is a blender. Simple bishop into pawn, and the check comes. Check, king goes back, and then bishop into h4. Yeah, of course. Uh, now he cannot capture this pawn. She cannot capture the pawn, or otherwise, bishop into pawn, and then pawn push, pawn push, pawn push is a queen. Yeah, well played, Adhyabai. Now white has to keep uh, her bishop on this diagonal. King into pawn and all over for uh, white, sorry, black. Yeah, and 
logically he resigned three more games going on oh om has reached uh, the first place there is a very tiny difference between the two tie breaks uh, 0.5 so initially uh, dakshil was up but uh, the way we got all the results the results were in favor of om and that way om's tie breaker is now better than dakshil though slightly better but still it's better so we will finally will come to know about the exact uh, uh, final standing once these three games are over though these three games are not in the top 10 but uh, due to the tie break system they will uh, uh, they will be the king maker you can say okay one game is over now we have just two games going on aryan is playing against dakshil dave i'm so sorry and it looks like dave lost his knight right dave was knight up right Okay, and here Gulnamaz is about to uh, win. Check, king must come here. Oh, okay. Mm. She should uh, make a waiting move by playing bishop f one. Bishop f eight. I'm sorry. This won't do. Bishop f8 is required. Okay, this will also do. If the king goes back, the bishop goes ahead. King goes ahead. I'm sorry. Start pushing this pawn forward. Okay. more check king f5 king c4 as i'm sorry and no more checks she should have played king c4 uh there is a big problem now because this pawn cannot be pushed knight is covering the pawn so this king must be kept on this line so the white king cannot come up and he missed forced this would do if check then king uh, b4 and then king c4 Keep the king on c4, so that way there won't be any checks coming up uh, from with the knight. This pawn is well protected with the bishop, and bishop is a long range piece, so bishop is covering the pawn, and at the same time bishop is stopping this pawn from queening. Once everything is settled, now he can start pushing the pawn. She can start pushing the pawn. She should start pushing the pawn. Uh, wait. Yeah, this should win, right? Yeah, this should win. There is no need to push the pawn because after pawn push, uh, black won't be able to capture because uh, he is losing the knight. Yeah, she missed a win over here. Still, she should win this game. Oh, uh, I guess this wouldn't work. This should work because uh, right now this should work. Now black is getting her queen. Uh, let's see what uh, changes are done at the top. 
ओम गड़ा केम फर्स्ट विथ फाइव एंड हाफ पॉइंट दक्षिल इज सेकेंड विथ फाइव एंड हाफ ओम सेट टाइब्रेकर इज बेटर एंड वी हैव यतिराज ऑन द थर्ड प्लेस हटी कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू ऑल द विनर्स एंड वेल प्लेड ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट्स लेट्स विश एवरी वन yes i hope you enjoyed this tournament uh, we have conducted a lot of tournament in past few months uh, and we are conducting one tournament every month for our uh, for the students of our gurukul chase academy so please stay tuned please uh, subscribe the channel and that way we can bring more such events to you thank you very much everyone